anytime that I'm starting to use stamps, I always use the same materials. The first thing is a dry paper towel and a wet paper towel. That's to clean off the stamp after I use it. Now to use stamps, what you're going to need is a clear acrylic block. So here's a small one that came as a part of the subscription box. And then here is a larger one that came. So this actually will cover more space. You can put more days of the week or more elements on there if you want to do that. So let me show you real quick how to do this. So I'm gonna take the small one here and the flag. So on these, you'll see that you have the stamp part on one side and then it's flat on the other part. That's what's gonna stick it to your acrylic block. And all of them stick relatively easily. Now for this, I'm gonna use the ink. So most of the time in the past, I had just taken the stamp and pushed it onto the ink. But recently, someone who's much better at this than I am told me that you wanna take the ink pad and tap it onto the stamp. This way you can be sure you're not getting ink everywhere and you can make sure you get full coverage. What I love about the clear acrylic blocks is you can see through them so you know where you're placing them on the page. We'll line it up, press down with a little bit of pressure, and there we go. I'll go ahead and ink it again because every time that you're pressing this down you want to get that full color otherwise each time will be lighter and lighter. I'll go ahead and put the cap back on my ink while I'm cleaning everything up. I'll use the wet paper towel just to wipe off that ink, and then I'll tap it on top of the dry just to make sure all of the moisture is off of here, and then I'll put it away. This is the process that I use. I just wanna make sure that I'm keeping those stamps nice and clean. I'm not forgetting about them, and then also make sure I don't lose anything in the process. The next one that I'm gonna use from that stamp pack is the stamp that says notes on it, and they also have this really nice little floral leaf branch here and i'm going to use that on here on the left and the right hand side so what i like to do is actually place my stamps on the page first where i'm going to put them it gives me a good view of the overall spacing that i'm going to need for it and then once i have them in place i'll take my acrylic block and i'll just press down on top it'll stick it right to the block where i want them i'll take my ink pad here just dab on top of here to make sure i'm getting all of the ink over top of the stamp and then I'll place it again right on top, a little bit of pressure, press down, and we've got our stamp. Now I'm gonna clear off the notes one and then I'm gonna actually take the branch off of the bigger one because I don't need all of that space now, put it onto my smaller acrylic block here, I'll re-ink it, and then I'll go ahead and press down next to here. And then we have our cool looking leaves here across the top. Now for the days of the week on here, what I'm going to do is actually place them all on here because I have that really large, long acrylic block. I'll make sure each of the spacings are right. This also helps me make sure I get the most amount of the days of the week inside of these squares. Wednesday is the longest day of the week. It's gonna just be right there on the edge and I'm just gonna have to be okay with that for this one. I'm not going to be able to get all the way over to Friday, so I'll just do Monday through Thursday. I'll press my acrylic block on here. I'll grab my ink pad here and just tap it on each one of these, making sure to get as much coverage over top of each of them as I can. And you just wanna tap lightly. You don't have to tap hard. I'll find my placement and then I'll just press down, adding pressure across each one of these to get them stamped onto the page. Doing more than one element at a time can be a little bit difficult. As you can actually see on here, my Monday and then the Y on the end of Thursday press down better than the ones in the middle. You just wanna make sure you're getting as best even pressure as you can across these. Sometimes I actually recommend just doing one at a time, but the best way to try it is to try different ways of doing it, see what you like, do it on a test page if you want first and go from there. The last stamps that I'm gonna use here are actually going to be for my notes section and my to-dos. So what I'm gonna do is put these two together. Since this section is really for everything that I need, I'm going to use the two different headers here. One that says notes, I'll reuse that as we use on the left-hand side and I'll add in the to-do. And there's a cool little star stamp that's a part of this. I'll go ahead and lay them on the page, get them in the right placement that I need them. I'll use my large acrylic block, press them down, they stick, grab my ink pad again, and just tapping lightly on top of here to get the ink onto each of these stamps. Find my placement, press down, and then I'm good to go. 